Uh, but would you say we are ceding too much of our own liberty to technology, to machines? Yes, in some areas we are. We're losing the line, in fact, between technology and humanity. One French Catholic uh, philosopher once said we're building faster machines to take us nowhere because we don't think enough about the future implications of technology. I think there's a truth in that. And I'm concerned too about where we go with um, the physicality of technology because th there's a workstation, for example, in Sweden now mm. that insists their workers have a, a biochip which allows them to open the work security doors, run the photocopier, pay for their meal at the canteen. Sounds very... Well, a convenient. biochip implanted into yeah. their body? Yes, it's called Epicenter in Sweden. It's a workstation there that insists its workers do this. And so, Sorry, they physically yep. insert something yep. into their... <laughs> exactly. It was, developed at Reading, it was developed at Reading University. I mean, it, it's technology been around for a while. But the problem with it is, of course, that our bodies become hackable devices because any yeah. computerised device can be hacked into. Yeah. And you've got issues of digital debt. If we, if we remove the substantiality of cash altogether, do we make it easier for people to spend without thinking about it first? So these are huge social implications of new technologies that are not really getting a lot of airplay. Uh, the companies are coming out with these whiz-bang toys, but we're not really thinking enough about the ethics behind it, I think. You should be writing a book, Mal. Shouldn't you be writing a book? I think you should, yeah. You're really on it. it.